Welcome to Guatemala. <laughs> it's hot today. Um, I want to show you something that I, I did my sashin last week. And I don't know how well you can see, but the cormorants are there. And I spent all week, you know, meditating and lying in the hammock and watching them. And they, they're like this with their wings. They're like this with their wings. And just do that, right? Just like opening the heart. So I want to tell you something. The sun is in my eyes, so I can't see how I'm placed on the camera. Um, but hopefully I look good. <laughs> okay. So... This week of Sashin, my eight-day silent meditation retreat, was very difficult, but there were a lot of really interesting things that came out of it, and I am feeling so deep in my practice and so inspired and so many inquiries. Um, so I'm not going to be able to talk about all of them, but I'm writing again, and I'm just going to start <clears throat> blogging about it all. And... Uh... <laughs> So what I want to share to you is something that I discovered this morning and I was talking to my mom about <clears throat> and she actually thought it was interesting. So I thought I would bring this here. <clears throat> so I was writing about um, feeling like, right, when we say I feel like and how then it kind of takes the feeling out of it and turns it into a perception. That's not what I want to talk about, but <clears throat> that was a conversation we were having which was difficult for her to connect to. And I was like, that's why I'll, I'll write a blog so you can understand it more. But that after that, when I was writing, I finished that, you know, that inquiry, that investigation by writing, I feel giddy with excitement in this inquiry. And then I placed the pencil on the paper and I <clears throat> clasped my hands you know, rested my elbows on the table, rested my chin on my hands, and looked out the window and just kind of, you know, felt really happy and joyful and just lifted my shoulders up and <sighs> with like a grin, right? So that's what I did. And then I noticed, because <clears throat> I've been doing this investigation into longing also, and there's a lot to talk about. I just can't talk about it all. <laughs> um, so I notice what I'm doing, right? I'm like, okay, this is actually a position of closure, right? The chest muscles, the, everything around the heart is shortened. And this is actually a position of closure. And there's not, a, there's not a lot of space for circulation around the heart. And so in noticing that, I was like, oh, this is a position of closure. I opened my arms, you know, I stretched back on the chair, stretched my arms back and open them and uh, took a deep breath into my heart uh, and then I let my arms relax down by my side and I just allowed my breath to lengthen down the central channel really lightly and just became aware and what happened was I started to giggle I just started giggling and you know I stayed with this with this moment and just observed and witnessed and so I'm giggling and then it went it went deeper it was like this surge of energy just kind of came into my body like like when a lover just grabs you and you're like <gasps> like it was like that not as sudden you know <clears throat> it was more like just kind of gradual and really, you know, I was waiting, right? I was just witnessing and so it gradually came, but the, the extent of it was this like, you know, this really incredible feeling of deep love, just like surging through my body. And I started to feel more open as it continued, right? And I'm just sitting in this blissful, 
excited like you know I can feel my vaginal opening just like pulsing and I can just feel my body in a really soft sensual almost ecstatic way right and just very open and very pleasurable and and it's so interesting because even though before you know when I did this and I was just enjoying it I you know I was in a joyful state right of, of oh this is cool but then when I came out of it I I allowed my body to experience the full spectrum of that of that experience right like if I hadn't if I hadn't seen myself in that um, you know closure position right because when we can't experience the full spectrum of our emotions when we can't experience like the depths of our sadness and our grief we also aren't able to experience the depths of our joy and pleasure, right? Like you have to work with the hard stuff if you also want to feel the bliss of the great stuff. And, um, and so it's interesting to notice that in my joy, I still felt, I still did the closure thing, which I think is probably really common and I might do it a lot. And then coming out of it, I just felt this huge expression of love and pleasure and sensuality. And just sitting in my chair, breathing and, and allowing it to come in. So it was really cool. And, um, and it's funny because I was like, I have to tell my mom. I want to talk to my mom about this. <laughs> I have a canker sore here. Um, anyway, so that, uh, oh, hi. Okay, so I have to go now, but that was it. Okay. <laughs>